Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder of CommitmentConnection.com. And today we're going to talk about how to get over someone. So um, if you broke up with someone or you got dumped by someone or you know something happened where you're not with someone anymore and you uh, want to get over them, uh, you need to figure out how to do it as quickly as possible so that you can move on with your life. And so here are three steps to getting over someone. The first one is to get that person out of your mind. Um, so remove anything that reminds you of that person. Um, you know, disconnect from them on social media. Do whatever you need to do to get that person out of your mind. Uh, because the more you have that person in your mind, the more you see stuff around that uh, reminds you of that person, the more... Uh, the the harder it will be to get over that person. So the first one is get them out of your mind. The second one is focus on rebuilding your life and your sense of self. When you're together with someone and you're seeing somebody, you um, psychologists have found that you actually start to feel like your identities meld together, like you almost become the same person, you know, and uh, when, so when you break up with someone, it's almost like you're losing a part of yourself. And so if you lose a part of yourself, you kind of feel this withdrawal thing that, that you get when you break up with someone. And, and so what you need to do is regain your sense of who you are, regain your sense of self. Uh, go out and build a life that's really interesting for you. Get involved in a passion or a hobby. Uh, go make some friends or go hang out with some friends in, in a support group of people that, um, uh, that, that love you and care for you. And the third and last thing that you need to do is forgive yourself and forgive the other person for any misdeeds that happen in the relationship. Now, if some bad things emotionally, you know, uh, abusive things or physically abusive things happen in the relationship. Obviously, don't forget about those things. But um, holding on to resentments like that only hurts you. It doesn't hurt the other person, you know, regardless of whether they deserve forgiveness or not. Um, you deserve forgiveness. And so forgiving another person sets you free, whereas holding on to a resentment encages you um, and uh, puts the other person in control of you, even if they don't want to be in control of you. So my suggestion is to forgive them, forgive yourself, and uh, do what you can to let go, because that's the only way that you can get over someone. So that's it for this video. If you want information on how to attract a quality man into a committed, lasting relationship, make sure you go to my website at commitmentconnection.com and take the quiz. I'm Matthew Coast, and I'll speak with you again soon.